Hey everybody, happy Saturday y'all. Welcome back to the Roadhouse. What we're going to cook today is going to be something a little bit different. I got a, a pork tenderloin. I'm going to season it up. I'm going to smoke it on the Weber 22 and a half. It's indirect heat. I'll show y'all that here in a little bit. Uh, chimney's getting hot, charcoal's getting happy. And that make me happy. So, uh, and also I got this big old eggplant I found y'all. I'm just thinking, you know, I've never done a stuffed eggplant. I want to do that too for a side. Uh, I've got a little, I'm going to stuff it with, uh, we've got Trinity. We've got some ground meat, uh, ground Angus is about a, a pound. And i got three quarters of a pound of green onion sausage. Get that in the skillet, get it all happy. For size, I'm going to chunk up some potatoes. Uh, you know, a little garlic and, you know, salt, pepper, a little parsley. And of course, you got to have your cheesy bread. So let me get this stuff going, y'all. Get it opened up, and uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, handle up on this eggplant. And <laughs> we're gonna stuff that bad boy. I'll be back in a minute, y'all. All right, guys, y'all, welcome back. We've got our pork loin opened up and washed off, and I'm just gonna season it up, y'all, and let it marinate while the charcoal finishes getting ready. Um, say there again, we're using the bone sucking sauce. And uh, it's, it's got like a kind of a sweet heat to it. It kind of tastes like a little m mesquite to me. Not bad though, y'all. You know, not bad at all. It's, it's, I want my taste buds are telling me nothing's too overpowering. So we're just going to give this a generous coating of this. All four sides. And uh, should be in pretty good shape y'all and don't forget the end <laughs> come here camera boy if I'm thinking right the FDA actually lowered the uh, cooking temp for pork from uh, 165 to 145 or something like that and and Keith Keith Betag you always pull yours about 140 anyway so you are in good shape brother I mean and it's cooked it's good it's done so uh, let me get this going y'all and uh, I'll be back in a little bit All right, gang, y'all welcome back. We got the grill hot. I got my charcoal separator baskets on each side. And this is how we do our indirect cooking, y'all. Uh, you just, what it does, it, it'll hit the top. The, uh, it'll hit the top. It'll come up on each side, hit the top of the lid and go back down and cook like an oven would, so to speak. It's all about the noise out here, gang. We got our ACs running out here. Anyway, let me chunk this stuff on here, and I'll be right back, y'all. All right, gang, y'all ready? Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Put that bad boy in the middle there. A little heat on each side. And uh, i got to tell you, I love my Weber, man. It's such a nice day out here. Great day for grilling. I'm going to add some wood chips to each side, y'all. And we're gonna smoke this thing a little bit. Got a little pecan wood. A few chips on each side here. Oh yeah. A little bit more. And I put mine on dry, y'all. You know, that's just that's just how I do. Anyway. Get in there, boy, don't be scared. Alright, y'all. Set my timer. We'll get our temp up. We'll check on this bad boy in a little while. All right, gang, y'all welcome back. Pork loin's getting happy on the grill. Let's mess with Siri. I need to set me a timer. Y'all want to? <laughs> Check it out. Hi, Siri. Good afternoon, Moonshine. I need a one-hour timer, please. Yeah, me too. That's what I figured. She being she being smaller today, y'all. Am I sexy? Very much so. Oh, what? You better behave yourself. Thanks for that, Moonshine. That's cause she's stupid. She loves to search the web, y'all. Anyway, I'm out of here. 
I'm just being cuckoo. See you in a little bit. All right, y'all welcome back. Lauren's been going about an hour. Yeah, y'all check that out. And I did put fat side up, y'all. We're gonna flip this bad boy over, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for another hour, man. Whoa, look at that! Look at that! Nice. Go, my brother. All right, got that done, y'all. We'll be back in a few. All right, y'all. Welcome back. We got the pork loin flipped over. We'll look over here and see. We got our ground meat and our uh, green onion sausage in the skillet, getting happy. Got this coming up to temp two my taters and uh, a little uh, extra virgin olive oil in the skillet here. I'm gonna put the rest of the moonshine and. Uh, out of the way, baby. All right, y'all. It's coming up to temp and uh, a little fresh sea salt right here, a little bit. And this is fresh cracked black pepper. A little bit of that. And you know what? We're gonna do the same over here. We'll put a little salt. A little fresh cracked black, probably about maybe a teaspoon of that, and uh, get that going. And let's get our Trinity in here, folks. You can see this. All right, pan down a little bit. Some of this goodness here. Oh yeah, baby. Boy, that smells good, y'all. A little bit more, y'all think. We never have too much of that Trinity goodness. All right, do that. Get that out of the way. The meat's coming along pretty nicely. We'll get our onions cooked down. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Keith, these pots are still rocking, dude. You'll see when you come down to the roadhouse. And uh, y'all actually, uh, I'm gonna try to keep this video kind of short, but uh, just want to tell y'all, come in camera, boy. Uh, <clears throat> my buddy Keith Betag, him and his wife Terry, man, love y'all guys to death. Uh, Keith asked, could he sleep on my floor for a couple of days? I'm like, well, no, man. I I got an extra bed in the middle room. And you and Terry are more than welcome to, man. As long as y'all want to stay. So anyway, hey, appreciate you, buddy. And uh, I can't wait to see y'all, man. Uh, DW, hope you make it down too. I know T Roy's gonna be here, uh, and we are gonna celebrate our birthdays. Uh, Spring Fling is actually on May 16th. My birthday's on the 17th. Troy's on the 18th, and Daryl, I don't know when his birthday is, but uh, him and Tango Joe, I think, are also had birthdays in May. So it's gonna be a party. Y'all should be here. I'm telling you, man. Plenty of videos and. Uh, it's going to be great, y'all. I'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all. Welcome back. The meat and the taters are still cooking. And uh, let's see what we can do with this uh, <laughs> with this eggplant, y'all. You know what I'm to? I do. Let's check this out, man. First thing we're going to do, we're going to peel off this green stuff on the end right here and get that junk out of the way. We don't want that on there. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I'm probably just gonna cut that stuff off. Yeah, that'll be alright. Y'all think about that. Alright, now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this bad boy in half. Oh, yeah. Alright. Now, what I'm just gonna do, because I've never done this, I mean, squash a little different. Like squash casserole on that, y'all. You, uh, Take and peel out all, you cut the squash up and all that. And uh, cook it down. Let's see what we can do with this, y'all. Don't think about that. Give me a spoon. Let's see if we can rake this junk out of here, man. Oh, yeah, baby. What you talking about? Not bad. 
Alright. That's most of it anyway. Alright, gang. Let me get the rest of this out of here. Like a little boat, huh? Kind of like my jalapenos. And, uh, man. You know what? The end's open, so what? I don't care. First time, y'all. We'll see. Anyway, get this done, and uh, I'll be back in a second. All right, y'all, welcome back. <clears throat> Got them scooped out, y'all, and actually, uh, the, the meat in these things is is not like squash, uh, same family. But uh, y'all come over. I had to actually uh, pull it out and had to had to cut it up a little bit. You know, kind of cube it up. So all this is going in the pan with the meat here. It's all about the back side of the cutting board. Watch out, little piggy. Junk out the way, babe. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the skillet here, y'all. Smells good. Tell you that. Got that dead. Potatoes are going. Lawrence cooking. Don't forget the bread, babe. All right. Back in a minute, y'all. All right, gang. We got the pork loin off the grill. Let's see. It's been resting for a couple of minutes. Lord, have mercy, y'all. Look at that pretty thing right there. Woo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. There you go, Keith. And I got a little cheese. Put on a little, uh, little six cheese Italian mix. Put on my bread. Damn, we about to stuff these eggplants. Oven's hot. Got it set about 350. Something like that, 345. So let's, uh, Let's do this right quick. Make sure y'all can see this all right. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. I should have left the end on, I guess, but hey, it happens. You know, fill that big egg plant boat full of goodness, y'all. Yes, indeed. Yum. Boy, it smells great in my house. All right. I got a little bit left over, but I'm gonna take care of that with a spoon. That's <laughs> not a big deal. All right, y'all. Boy, that looks nice, huh? All right. Get that junk out of the way. And we're gonna top this up with some of this six cheese blend. Oh yeah. I'll bake that and bread at the same time, so it'll be all right. Oh yeah, baby. Chunk is junk in the oven, man. And uh, let it get all happy and stuff. Woo! Yes, indeed. Here we go, folks. Going in. Yeah. All right. And y'all know the routine, about 10 minutes. And uh, we'll check back in 10. See you in a minute. Alright gang, y'all welcome back. Man, y'all check this out. Bread's done. We got the stuffed eggplant done. And actually guys, I went about 10 minutes. Uh, no, I'll take that back. About 20 minutes on this. And uh, just to get the, the skin on the eggplant softened up a little bit. Let's check out this pork loin here. Alright Cameron, I'll be acting funny now. Alright gang. Yeah baby. Talk to me sweet lips. Not bad y'all. Nice crust and it smells terrific gang. Get a little, a little sneak peek here. Y'all check that out, man. About two hour cook, something like that. So, let's see how that tastes, y'all. Mmm, yum. Y'all. Tell you what. Mmm, that's good. The bone sucking sauce is, it doesn't have a lot of salt. A little sweet, a little heat, nothing overpowering. Um, real good on the pork roast. 
I like it. I'm going to plate up, and I'll be back in a minute, y'all. All right, y'all, welcome back. Everything is done, y'all. Y'all check this out, man. You know what? I'll take y'all for a little ride right quick. Y'all just hold that stall, man. Oh, yeah. Cut us some taters. Pork rolls. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Look at that stuffed eggplant, y'all. Check it out. Mmm, yum. And you gotta have your, your cheesy bread. You know that. Anyway, let's see how we did, gang. I know I sampled the roast and it was really good. But uh, let's check out this eggplant, y'all. What y'all think about that? Get a little bite of that. See what's happening. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna use my fork, man. Let's see, y'all. Give this. Watch out, bread. Get out of my way. We got business over here. Yeah. See if we can get that on the fork there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <clears throat> Yo, that's really good. Really, really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Because you know the bread is good. I make that junk all the time. Taters. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all. Mm. That's so good. And a little piece of the pork roast again. Mmm. Y'all. Mm. That is so good. And the eggplant, my goodness. You know, I like that. Good, uh, good flavor. The bone sucking sauce is, is, like I said, it's not real hot or real uh, overpowering. It's, it's really a good combination with the pork. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to finish my plate because I'm hungry. And uh, <laughs> I tell you what, that came out real good. I'm impressed with that one. Um, Mighty tasty dish, and I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and thanks again for letting me come into y'all's home, and uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, just say what's on your mind. If you can help me better my channel, hey, I'm, I'm wide open to it, man, uh, because I want to bring y'all a quality cook, a quality video. I'm just being me, you know, and I appreciate y'all's comments. Love y'all. I'm out of here. Happy Saturday night. Everybody sleep in late tomorrow, Sunday, so that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, catch y'all next weekend, gang.